What happened last episode? We had the Rembrandt sisters come back, even though we never saw what they looked like, because they were like ball zombies by the time we were like, when we, we, by the time we were able to cure them, right? So they're very, very happy. They're very, you know, thankful. They kind of did like an entire like, persona change because before that, they used to be like pompous, arrogant assholes, but not anymore, apparently, except to Rembrandt and the butler. Because the mom and the sisters, apparently, it's a matriarchy over there. What else happened last episode? Uh, brain's not working. Brain's not working. Let's begin today's reaction. Okay. No credits are rolling right now, so no opening? That's right. Last episode at the end, Lime got fucked, right? Lime met that silver-haired dude at the end, right? And he's coached by Tomoe, so this silver-haired dude is pretty strong? I mean... They did say we can never trust Rona, right? Even though she seems to be on our side. No, I don't think Rona's on our... I don't know. I feel like Rona is not bad here. This is a sister, right? With the glasses? Sister, right? Yes, with the glasses. Right, right. Silver her, dude. Familiar voice actor. I've decided to give up on reincarnation. So this guy... No, maybe this is the perverted dragon. Maybe this could be a dragon. If his eyes get a little bit more sharper... I don't know. I don't... We... It's, v, it's Kirito's voice actor. Okay. Have... We've never seen him before. This is first time seeing him, right? We saw an opening too, but besides that, we don't know. Um, So he talks about... He wants to reincarnate. So he's not like a reincarnated character. He's just like an actual character from this world. He's a human, probably. I don't really know. We'll see more. Aww. This guy's kind of next level, yeah? Block telepathy. What was that? What was that ring? The only ring that disappears and does some shit we saw was to kill off the, the human blessing, right? Remember? The demons have like a demon ring that does that. And then he, human blessings are gone. But like, he's, he doesn't... Does Lime have human blessings that would interfere with the telepathy? Is that what happened there? <laughs> Bro's not even looking! <laughs> Bro wasn't even looking! Look! He's like, oh. <laughs> Did you say something? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> cocky! Very cocky! <laughs> Why is he so strong? They. Demons? Ha. <sighs> wait, wait, what do you say? If they decide to kill you, you'll have some time before then. They. Some other faction that we don't know yet. Maybe we do know. I don't know. The fuck? Aren't you gonna take the sword? You just... Uh... And then she was hiding. And then someone else comes. Test subject. Because they're doing experimentations, of course. So, there's... Many different things going on here right now, right? Because Rona is here from the demon side to inspect on human experimentations, which is done by the school, or at least this country right now. The humans are doing human experimentations. That new guy, I don't think is on the demon side, nor the human... No, maybe he is on Rona's side. Maybe it's just that simple. Maybe he really is on Rona's side, but I like to think that he's on a totally different thing by himself. Yeah, and she has a sister, and uh, the sister is in, uh, you know, the bar. I can't believe his name is Lime Latte still. That is a cursed fucking latte. Imagine you have a fucking latte, coffee latte, and you fucking put lime juice in it. It's like, oh! Nice one. I mean, they're all the same. Who is they, though? Is it just the humans, really? Or is it... I don't know. <laughs> you didn't even fight, bitch! You got a tracking on him? Tracking, tracking, tracking! Oh, nice one, Lime. She's... I don't like her at all. I don't like her entire attitude, dude. She's done fucking nothing. Oh, you didn't fucking rescue me. Like, bitch, rescue! yourself okay, she's gonna be our informant okay the organize oh a handsome reward not from you though your sister maybe but like the organization again i'm still understanding that this is the humans that are doing the human experimentations but i just feel like the silver haired dude's not part of that i don't know hmm? 
Whoa, he has a second weapon? He got a second weapon? It's like a hidden bracelet weapon? Nice. Mm. As in body of corpses? Okay, human experimentation. What the fuck are they doing, man? How about demons? Funded by who? Okay, we got our sword back. Mm. Honestly, that is probably the ethical thing to do. Every one of these beings is probably being like, oh, please kill me. But like, if we accidentally try to like, you know, put them out of their misery, but they're actually super strong and we release them, don't we fuck up? Is Lime about to unleash a monster into the town? Lime, you're gonna do this properly, right? We not be dealing. Well, it's the perverted dragon after all. So okay, so the new guy now we're supposed to assume that they're the dragon faction, and he's more perverted than Tomoe. Okay. No, Rona and the demons, they're they're safe. I I don't think that's the demons doing this shit. Aside from them, demon dragon alliance could be a thing too. He's, he's, he's speaking scary all of a sudden. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's getting hyped up. What in the fuck? I think he wants to go all out. <laughs> Bro, has just been waiting for this time. It's his time to fucking pop off. It's like, fucking finally. Oh, very good. <laughs> Like, he is an inst like That's the craziest thing, right? Compared to Tomo and Mio, he's like nothing. But, like, compared to him with the regular people, he's like a godlike being, right? <laughs> All right! Hello, Lime. And he's already back. Fuck! Shaki can't pop off anymore. Look how disappointed he is. Mm, handsome reward. Shiki never gave a fuck about rescuing Lime, right? Because why, why was he saying this right now? He should be happy that Lime is safe. He never cared about Lime's safety. He just wanted an excuse to pop off and just <laughs> trash this entire town. Just like Tomo and Mio did. And like, you remember in season one, like the early episodes where we just demolished that entire town? <laughs> Let it out on your fucking cream pie hot pots. Okay, back at our merchant store. Banana. Banana. Dragon. Perverted dragon. Where is uh, Eva's handsome reward? Is it time for plot? What the fuck did you just say? What the fuck did you just say? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did, did, did she just say we're not gonna get the reward until later? The audacity. The absolute audacity. You said that when Lime rescued you, you promised a handsome reward. But now you are saying you're delaying the reward. Why? Fuck you! She's a scammer! Was it for bringing down the organization in the beginning, not safety? Alright, maybe I misunderstood. Oh? Wait, wait, wait. She knows, she knows. Noble high-ranking priestess. Wow. Dad, what the fuck? Wait, dad was like a noble, mom was like a priestess? Because like... Huh. Okay, keep, keep cooking, keep cooking, keep cooking. It's a ruined kingdom now. That's like a long time ago, though. Forced to leave without marrying. How convenient. Who invaded them, though? Demons? And now it's a ruined kingdom. The exact same place? How old are you? Probably when they were kids, right? Wonder if mom and dad were also branded as traitors. Those who... who uh, it really, it's still that, I guess it's like betraying your nation even though a demon's invaded. All right, that's kind of dumb. There's people out there though that's looking for them maybe? Okay. Ending our lives for that? 
We're gonna reclaim that land. 100%, you know, like Makoto will go back to reclaim the, the land that his parents used to live on, right? They, like, obviously, we're gonna do that, right? Why don't you go, bro? Your parents are kind of there too before? That organization making human experimentation because she needed power. She needed something that could fight on her behalf. That's why I contacted the organization, but turns out they're doing human experimentations. Okay. Okay. Nice, okay, we oppose the goddess. The organization does. They share technology and knowledge with one another. Oh, okay, the organization basically, okay. So anti-goddess, this is kind of good, this is kind of good. Nah, you just need Makoto on your side. Surprised that Dragon Dude didn't recognize her presence. And I will reclaim your lost land. Right? You're gonna do that, right? No? Cameraman, what are you doing? Alright, never mind. I don't know. I, I, I thought that it was natural that Makoto would want to reclaim the land that was like, once his parents used to live on, but they had to evade. Like, th doesn't that kind of make sense? Like, she needs strong people to help her out. I feel like it's perfect, right? It's, doesn't that kind of make sense as a future arc? But all right, we're going to hold off on that for now. What <laughs> Miss Portal? Oh, the big guns are coming out. The big guns are coming out today. Damn. Me, what the fuck? Stand aside, Lime. Jesus Christ. I want to see Lime actually fight, though. What does that mean? Jeez, they're just tag teaming up. Shut the fuck up, Lime. Shut the fuck down. Know your role, NPC. Poor Lime. Feels, feels, feels bad. That's poor line. Poor line. What the fuck? Dra Dragon guy. I'm the guild master? This... Suppose... We don't know if he's the perverted dragon. I'm just assuming because of the title. But this dragon-like dude is a guild master? Of the adventurous guild? Uh... Are you kidding? Are you... I, uh, okay. Bitch, can you go make a fucking sandwich for the men here? What the fuck? Why is Mew getting shit on like- No, you get that Mew for shitting on Lime. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. None of them should get shit on, but what the fuck? Hey, you! Give me some fucking fruit, bitch! What, what the fuck? Mew's just gonna have to listen to, huh? Mew. <laughs> that feels bad. She has no choice. This is fucked, man. I hope she brings, like, lethal poison. And tea leaves, by the way. <laughs> Come on. Faster. Oh, you want some small talk? You can telepathically understand? Oh, wait, sorry. The common tongue. We don't have to speak common tongue anymore because he's a dragon. Huh? Yes and no. It almost sounds like we can ally with them, huh? If he's against the goddess, at least. I like when a man's voice retains some useful charm. He's a dragon, though. This, 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 this is not like a little boy trying to raise up Makoto. This, this is like an ancient being, right? Like, this dragon just looks like a Shota, right? No, 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 no. He has a lot of confidence, though. Name. Banshokuluto. What does that mean? One of the greatest and undefeated. Oh, we got a top tier dragon. And he's a genuine greater. Is Tomoe a greater dragon? Banshokuluto is a dragon of myriad colors. Makoto sweating, man. Okay. Those are the five greater dragons? He's, uh, Tomoe is not one of them? Really? Tomoe is not a greater dragon. She's... I thought she was one of the most important beings. No, no is she a being? No, no, no. Tomoe is Mitsurugi. Sorry, I keep thinking like... Shin. Her name used to be Shin. Right? Mitsurugi. Where do I remember Mitsurugi? Kyoya Mitsurugi is the hero from Konosuba that we stole the sword from in Season 1. That's the only Mitsurugi I know, dude. Okay, Mitsurugi's answer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tomoe is greater, but not a famous one. 
So I guess the, so even amongst the greater dragons. They're the most famous. Gotcha. The wording here, I should have understood this better. Most famous. There's other dragons. It's just, you know. And Mitsugoshi Company is... <laughs> that's, that's Eminus and Shadow! Get it, focus! Damn, manners. You talking down on... Talking down on Tomoe? Okay. Yo, he keeps trying to raise up Makoto, man. <laughs> Are you are you implying there's a there's a woman form? There, 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 there's a woman form here. Can you transform? Can you transform? Or or, or it's just saying you know from dragon to man, right? It's dragon to man. It's not that he could, he used to be a woman. It's just that he used to be just dragon, just like Shin, right? And then Shin, you know, has a human form like this. So you know, you know, you know the same thing here. Uh, unless don't spoil me. Unless hold up. Maybe this is a silver hair <laughs> after living for long as a woman. I got bored of it. Can you, like, change back real quick? I just, I just want to check, you know? I, I, I just want to check! Just to do my homework, can you, can you change back real quick? Yeah, and? You, and you experienced love for the first time as a woman? Okay, and you got dominated by a man, you felt the sense of euphoria, but then... Uh-huh. At the end of the ultimate friendship was the ultimate love, alright, but was... Did, did he last too short in bed or what? So, this time... Does he want a gay relationship? Did, so, he already... He already experienced love with a man as a woman. But now he wants to try out as like a femboy and he wants like a less experienced boy like Makoto. Is that what's going on here right now? Is that what's going on? It's a man. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean, I mean, yeah, every one of you guys in chat would fold. Every one of you. Maybe, don't even say maybe. I know every single one of you would fucking fold in an instant. A woman or a man. <laughs> This is a pervert dragon. I get it now. Pervert dragon. Do we seriously have another contender for the ship war right now? I... What the fuck is this episode? I thought we are going to get introduced to a new faction and he's going to be some kind of like enemy endgame boss. But it's like, he wants to fuck Makoto. Literally. <laughs> Okay. All right. Wow, he actually she actually brought normal fruit. <laughs> but like, I don't know if Tomoe and Mio could do it though. Can you eat? No, I feel like they might be outclassed. <laughs> Makoto's like, no, I am protecting my pussy at all costs. I'm in. We gotta take him out right now. <laughs> okay. All right, we're just talking. Right, you're a guild master. Huh? Change scenes? Uh, Shiki and his informant? I forget which girl this was, though. Hmm? Wicked as a demon? Oh, right, 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 right. It's Rona. It's fucking Rona. It's Rona. Right, right. It's her hair. It's her, it's her, it's her, it's her. My bad, my bad, bad. I just remember Rona, the other, other, the demon mode Rona, right? Not, not the human Rona. Are you sure you want to see a glimpse, though? My original goal. Original goal? Of doing the experimentation. Because the original goal was to look into the human experimentation. This is Scout, right? I think that's what she's talking about. She's already kind of done that. But now she just kind of want to see Makoto. Like, how strong are you? Thousand years ago. Founded the whole guild system? <laughs> no one's eating the fruit but meal. Hold up, we cut the fucking fruit to go. What about the tea leaves? Me? Why is Mio the one eating the fruit first? <laughs> My first master was someone from another world like you, by the way. My first master was someone from another world like you. But we can't. No, it, it can't be our parents because I'm, our parents are from this world. So there's another reincarnated person, maybe even summoned, that is basically summoned. It can't be a reincarnation, right? I'm not sure. It could be both, maybe. But okay, okay, okay. The concept of guilt? Because he's a fucking weeb and knows RPGs? Wait, 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 w
Mio's eating all the fruit by herself. Don't you think it's strange that the sophisticated guild card used the word level? Is level that suspicious? I, we're just so normalized by level because of, we're just familiar with video games, you know, stuff like that. But in this world, these level, it seems way too gamified, right? So he's implying that this is like human influence that you use stuff like levels in guild cards. Is that what's going on? Right, exactly. Video gamified. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because an isekai character gave that concept here. Someone from another world, not to question. Someone just, oh, this is looking really important. But the word adventurous guild, wait, wait, wait. But the words adventure skills are enough. The levels is very off because it's gamified, but the word adventure skills is enough to convince humans, other reincarnations. <laughs> so the guilds exist for other people than the humans? Yeah, what do you mean? Does the guilds help demons and demi humans? Mio's eating all the fruits! Okay. He made the growth rate increase with the level, the growth of a, like a human's power, that, that, a person's power. Okay. So not just humans, but everyone else. It, the guild, no. The guild automatically thins up the human population because they want to kill each other. Because of human greed? Is that what he's getting at? They kill each other or they're like going on dangerous quests and dying? That is... That is the most fucked up explanation of a guild system in any isekai show I've ever seen. An adventurous guild exists to basically maintain this human overpopulation. To call them out. I would have never... I would have never thought of a guild like that. Yeah, exactly. The, the, basically, the numbers make people go higher, the humans get more ambitious, more stronger, they want to desire more, the greed makes them do more dangerous quests, maybe they want to kill each other, right? So this is how we kind of just keep the humans in, in bay. That's very sinister. What in the fuck? That's a very unique take on a guild in an isekai. Okay, everybody's unhappy with the goddess's behavior. Okay. I don't even know what our levels are. I've forgotten, dude. I, I, I haven't been keeping track of anyone's levels, man. 65k? You chose that number because it's a passionate romantic speech my master gave. Just some kind of arbitrary number? The fuck? Oh, 16-bit computing. That is the largest possible integer. Ah, that is so nerdy. But kind of cool. Little Easter egg. Okay, but that's funny because like... 65k versus 1500 that we've seen, that's insane. Who the fuck reached that number? Contract! Are we actually gonna make a contract with the fucking perverted dragon? I mean, we already have Neo and Tomoe. Maybe it's time to get a femboy in our squad. It's, it's time, maybe? No need to be shy in bed. Here's another thing, right? The timeline doesn't work out. Video game concepts, yet thousand years old, different timelines. Maybe a thousand years old in this timeline, but the human was summoned from a current timeline. You know what I mean? Force myself, force, force myself, force myself. <laughs> She's knocked out after eating all the fruit that she cut for herself. The tremendous energy... Okay, this is some Eminence and Shadow explanation bullshit about how the atomic power works, but then we're like, ah, uh, what is it again? Anyways, blah, 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 blah. Flow of time is different! Okay, that explains it. Flow of time is different. Got it. What do you mean? Flow of time is different, so I'm assuming that maybe we spent like 10 years here, right? Let's just assume that after we've been summoned to this other world, Isekai world, we spent 10 years here and we went back to Earth. Maybe only one hour passed. I don't know. That, that's the kind of flow past time being different, right? Right? Yeah, our parents did it. The teleportation and the mana, again, he has a ridiculous amount of mana, but even with that, only the teleports like to succeed? What else? The soul? What is it? 
Your body ghost, but not your soul? What is it? So we could teleport to somewhere else? One in ten million? We can't, like, accurately track Earth? How did our parents do it? That was a lot of plot, my man. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't believe he told Mio to fucking make me a sandwich, bitch. And then she came back with the sandwich and she ate it all and just passed out. <laughs> Luto didn't give a fuck about the fruit. Noticed what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She playing dumb. She doesn't want Waka to go back? Do humans from the original world truly die after about 100 years? Right. Original world meaning Earth, right? Or human's lifespan. Regular human's lifespan. Not a, not a human with the Y, but regular you. Okay. She's just worried about, you know, the time that Wakasama has left. You want some kind of immortality for Makoto then? What? There's no one from another world I'd rather observe from his side. Huh, he's that interesting to you? Yes! That's what I'm talking about! We need more of this! And not just the edgy scenes, but like Makoto's true self. Killing other causes him no heartache. He, there was like a flashback, remember? There was like a flashback where he apparently accidentally killed like a pet, right? Not a pet, or some kind of animal. But then he was like kind of like breaking there. But ever since then, it's kind of just like been unhinged. And like Makoto, all of season one, like there were some signs of him just kind of losing it. It's like, is he really all there, all together? Is he just a cute, like a sweet little boy, or is he a fucking sociopath? I feel like when the mask off happens, there's a really dark side, and Luto kind of recognizes that. Okay, all right. He's the, he's the biggest fan, man. Uh, defeat the goddess here. I don't know. A single catalyst could make him change. Another turning point? Wait, wait, wait. I don't think he's a softy who couldn't bear to abandon. You think that he would abandon Tomoe Mio, everybody here, due to a single catalyst? What could that catalyst be where he just pops the fuck oh off? I don't think... See, see, see. I think he's a softy who couldn't bear to abandon you. I'm reading it. He's saying... He couldn't bear to abandon. Saying, he could not bear to abandon. Yes. Until a single catalyst happens. Meaning that he would. Right? Oh. That's exactly what I just said. I did not contradict myself. What the fuck did you make me read that again? I was right! I just said, he wouldn't abandon them. Unless a catalyst happened. When is that turning point going to happen? <laughs> Ah, uh, here's the ending. Return home or don't. I don't know what option is there. Just stay here and chill in the demiplane? Rule over the fucking place? Over the goddess? Right, right, right. What was the term? There was a term in season one. I forget the exact word, but it's basically what our parents are. They're like perfect humans, right? They're like superhumans. Grants, right? They're, they're like grants, right? So this is grants again. Become a superhuman who can freely traverse both worlds. Go like back to Earth and back here like that, right? You know, if, if, we, if, if we go with the idea of becoming a grant, right? Going tr freely between other worlds. It's not just this world and Earth. Couldn't it be this world and other worlds? More isekai? I feel like this, like, this is kind of like the multiverse, right? This is like you have so many different worlds that you could traverse to, right? Back and forth. Right? Grants stay in the world, they can't go in. Oh, this is even beyond grants. This is like not one way traversal, right? Because a grant is someone that was able to ex like exceed their world and go somewhere else. That's one time. But this is like unlimited. So that's how Makoto will become. Something beyond that. I'm not sure if there's like a terminology for that, but okay. What catalyst? I don't know. What's the catalyst? Are we going to find out this season? Uh, Mio, Mio looks cute like this. For Mio dressing up like that? What do you mean forget immediately? You mean kill him? Did Mio listen to the conversation? That feels like that's important information. Some do him what? Or is this all foreshadowing? This is all foreshadowing, right? This is some crazy foreshadowing right now. What are you thinking, Mio? Alright, that's another episode of... A lot of fucking pop. What happened? So, 
right now the plot of this place is basically we're at this academy there's so many different things going on we're a teacher but there's human experimentation going on so that demons sent rona to do these experimentations because the humans are doing fucked up experimentations but on top of that luto the perverted dragon this like greater dragon that's again five of them are very famous and luto is one of them luto's here he's also the guild master he also wants to uh, serve his fucking bussy towards us like we have tomoe mio we might even make a contract with luto that we straight up good and maybe luto's gonna change back to the fucking female dragon and that's what's gonna be the catalyst that triggers makoto to freely traverse between every world and leave behind mio and tomoe i don't i don't know but this episode was a lot of plot there's a lot to digest oh my god if there's any like huge video essay you know channels or other like theorists for this kind of anime right this is the episodes to farm but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care